Hi, I'm Rich Chappell with Microchip here at ESC Boston, and I'm standing with John Day in front of the radio thermostat demonstration. Uh, John actually uh, tore down the product yesterday on stage at the annual uh, teardown. But uh, I have questions for John because I want to know how all this works too. Uh, please, John, would you explain uh, how the, the radio thermostats are working here? Sure, I'd love to, Rich. Um, this uh, product involves a uh, Wi-Fi enabled residential thermostat. Um, the model we're showing here is a uh, CT50. Uh, you'll see it available at Home Depot. Um, it'll be for sale uh, starting in about two or three weeks. It'll be sold under the 3M Filtrate brand. Um, so take a look at it, $99. What that includes is a standard um, seven-day setback thermostat with, um, uh, with standard uh, LCD display. You can see it's all backlit, really nice. Um, you can set all of your um, you know, time of what week, time of um, you know, your furnace to turn on, turn off, all the different you get time zones. Multiple set points per day? Yep, you get up to four set points per day, um, seven day time uh, programming. You'll notice how there's a radio link that's uh, lit up there. That indicates that the, uh, the Wi Fi radio is linked to your router and is able to talk to a cloud server. So, um, so it's a great seven day setback thermostat, um, which normally would cost you maybe between $50 and $90 normally but you get Wi-Fi for, for an extra $10 for 99 bucks. So what does Wi-Fi give you? Well, what's happening is that this thermostat is um, regularly waking up and reporting its current status to a cloud server. So there's a cloud server that, um, a cloud server that exists which um, has been registered to this thermostat and it's regularly updating its temperature and it's asking for updates. Can I, could I, for instance, be uh, through the internet take a look at that cloud and see my thermostat in my house? Absolutely you can, Rich. So now I'm, I'm on this web application here and I have my four thermostats which are currently registered. And now if I want to, I can click on control on any one of those thermostats through my web browser. So I could do this at work, I could do it on my, um, my phone, for example, sure. uh, whatever I wanted to. And there's a, a representation of the thermostat and that's this thermostat right here. And okay. so, um, so if I wanted to, I could um, take and um, set a new target temperature for heat. And um, as soon as that's set, oh, I see. Okay. 75, 76. Got it. So now that should automatically update that thermostat. Next time that thermostat goes to a request to the cloud server, it happens about every one to two minutes, mm -hmm. then that thermostat will receive the new target temperature and then uh, it'll automatically go to that set point. So the beauty of it, Rich, is that, um, you know, we, you and I travel a lot. So, you know, there's times when uh, you might um, leave your house early and, uh, and then forget to have turned off your heat. Well, you can just, you know, right. uh, pull off to a rest stop and then on your phone, reset your heat. Maybe you're gonna go home early, earlier than you normally would expect. So you can say, oh, I wanna turn my heat on or my AC on so that the house is cooled off or warmed up by the time I get there. Works great for your primary residence and if you ever had like a vacation place or something like that, you could take care of it. Uh, it also will email alerts to you if you want to. So, um, so you could say, oh, if uh, my temperature goes below this, the thermostat doesn't report within this period of time, it'll email you an alert so that way you can know that something's gone wrong. Um, that's really important for properties that um, you may not be visiting regularly. Yeah, vacation homes. Exactly, it's perfect for vacation homes. Another thing that comes part of it is a um, is an, an iPad and an iPhone app, uh, and an Android application is currently in development. Excellent. And so this application, if I click here, this will automatically show all of my thermostats that are currently registered to the account, and it'll show their status. It'll show when they last reported, so I can see they last reported at around 11 o'clock. And then I can click on any one of those, family room, and then I could independently set, you know, a new target temperature if I want to. And uh, that should automatically, again, the next time that thermostat requests an update, it'll automatically go to that new set point. And again, this will update with its uh, now, uh, data as just well. Just so I understand the, the full circle here, this cloud that you refer to, is that some network that's managed by Radio Thermostat? It is, it is. And, um, and but there's no cost to you. So uh, Radio Thermostat is doing that as part of the, they're financing that through the original thermostat purchase. So, um, so there's no monthly fees, none of that kind of stuff. Um, you register for free you know, with your email address and set up an account. And you can register as many thermostats as you'd like once you're there. So it's pretty cool That's stuff. Nice. Um, there's one other aspect to it that's particularly interesting to um, the engineering crowd of ESC, and that is hacking your thermostat. So um, these thermostats not only are posting to a cloud server, but these thermostats are also um, you, they have a web server running themselves. So what we've done 
is we've taken Microchip's um, MMB. It's a uh, multimedia board that you see here. And uh, this is a uh, QVGA display color. Uh, runs one of, one of our PIC32 devices, which has integrated Ethernet, USB, serial ports, and so forth. And uh, my colleague, uh, Sean, he actually uh, wrote an application for this where he qu queries that thermostat periodically. He could query any of these thermostats that are local and does an HTTP GET, grabs the thermostat information, and then he renders it in real time on this display. And you can see that perfectly matches that thermostat over there, the time of day. This does not have a real-time clock running in it. It's just querying the thermostat and saying, what time is it? And it's displaying whatever the thermostat came back with. And, you know, what's your set point temperature? What's your current temperature?